Hey guys, so what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, you guys can see my 5700 rig. It's on the floor now. And I've been having a few issues with this rig. I know in the last episode, you guys saw where I was getting about 58 mega hash on each of the cards by the end of the video. And actually after about an hour or two hours, the rig would turn off. And I was playing around with a bunch of different overclock. I even tried it with like moderate undervolt settings. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. You know, trying to run it at like 53 mega hash, 55 mega hash. And this rig would still constantly reboot every couple hours or so. And for the past week, I've been trying to troubleshoot this and another strange thing was happening with this rig. When it would like essentially, you know, stop in Hive or stop being shown in Hive, the network card would then try to flood the network. I couldn't see it on Hive. I couldn't see it anywhere. And so then the network card itself was flashing like nuts. It was flashing like crazy. And so what was happening was then it was turning off the communication for all of my other rigs and my two ASICs and just everything. Basically this 5700 rig was flooding the whole network in my crypto mining basement, thus stopping the mining in the whole area down here. My five port switch and my eight port switch over here, it was just going like crazy and now it's not going crazy, it's definitely fine. But when I unplugged the network cable from this rig, then everything was fine. All the network switches and internet came back and I was just scratching my head. I'm like, what the heck? Why is my 5700 rig going nuts? So I don't know if it's because of Hive OS. I don't know if it's because of the motherboard. I've been trying a few different OS's and I tried like MMP OS and kind of the same thing, except it wouldn't even show an MMP OS for like more than two minutes. So I think something is seriously wrong with this rig. And so in this episode, I'm just gonna like figure out what's going on and my first thing that I want to do is replace the motherboard and also change out the power color red devil and the XFX card here so I'm gonna put in the two extra Asus Evil Duels as you guys know I bought six of them so what I want to do is essentially just populate this whole rig as an Asus Evo Duel rig and also one thing later I don't know if I'll get to it in this video but I have thermal grizzly thermal pads here and it's called the minus pad 8 and I believe this is the 3.0 millimeter thick thermal pads so I'm gonna try it on that troubled China card. Not the Taiwan ones because they seem to be fine, but the China one that was getting like over 100 Celsius on the memory. We're gonna try the thermal pads and see if it helps a little bit, but I'm not sure if we'll get to that in this video. So guys, I don't wanna waste any time. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the motherboard on this rig here. So I have initially an Asus mining expert board. And so I'm gonna try this Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboard, which I've had no issues with in the past. Past, so I'm curious to know if it's the motherboard or not. So we're gonna try it out. So give me a sec I'm gonna put in the motherboard and the two cards Okay, so before I show you guys the rig I have my Red Devil 5700 here and the XFX Thick Edition. I just wanted to show you guys these cards because man, these are seriously massive cards. I'm thinking of doing a mix and match build, so I'm probably gonna look for four other different 5700s. Well, probably the 5700 XTs because the 5700 now is apparently end of life. So I'm gonna build these two into another AAA wave frame. And as you guys know and probably saw that video, AAA wave sent me a bunch of frames here so I'm gonna build it in one of these six GPU frames maybe the 8 GPU one but actually I may change my 8 GPU RX 480 rig into this triple A wave frame we'll see I'm not sure yet but anyways guys here is the 5700 rig the Asus Evo duels and let's go to the back side here I've actually done some cable management and I am not even sure if it's any good but I did my best and I did up some cable management with the power cables in the back there as well. But yeah, this rig finally has all six Asus Evo duels and I hope it works better on this Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboard coupled with a G3930 and eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Okay, so first time turn on, let's just hope that there's no smoke or anything. Let's do it, three, two, one. Yeah. 
pretty, pretty lights, and those lights are from gprisers.com. Thanks to GP Risers for sending me a bunch of risers, and you guys know I've been giving them away every Saturday on Community Money Rig Showcase, so don't miss out on the next one coming this Saturday. Thanks so much, Vistang. Awesome stuff. Okay, guys, so it looks like the rig is turning on, and I already have my SSD for Hive OS plugged in, so we'll see if this thing hashes. I actually have to BIOS mod the two new cards that I just put in. So these are the two new ones, and the other four was the ones I already had. So these three are the ones that are made in Taiwan, and these three right here are made in China. So this one I know is supposed to be like 100, but let's confirm that in Hive OS. So give me a sec. Man, this rig looks really good. Oh yeah, I bought like a couple hundred zip ties. I was getting so mad because I was running out of the zip ties out of the like U-bit boxes from the U-bit risers. Link down below if you guys are interested in zip ties from Amazon. Okay, it showed up in Hive, all of the GPUs. I have a somewhat of a moderate overclock undervolt for my 5700s in here. And you guys can see the hash rate disparity right now. That's 53 mega hash on the first one, 56, 53, 56, 56, 56. Now we can tell which ones we've already BIOS modded and that is number two, four, five, and six. We'll need to BIOS mod the first and third GPU, which are the China-made Asus 5700 EVO Duals. And I'm gonna assume that this one right here is the other China Asus EVO Dual. As we can see here, the memory temperature is creeping up to 100 and these bottom three are the Taiwan made ones and they seem to be doing generally okay. What I've learned and read online is the memory temperature, if it can stay under 95 degrees on the memory temp for GDDR6 memory, we should be technically fine. Long term, I have no idea. I guess we'll find out as I'm gonna keep this rig probably for the next year or so and we'll see if any of my Asus EVO duels here die, God forbid. Anyways guys, I am going to go ahead now and just BIOS mod these two GPUs. And in case some of you guys were wondering how to do that, I did briefly show you guys in the last episode, but I'll just quickly show you here. So what we wanna do is download the vBIOS. And so I said I need to do number one and three, but this is zero and two in my case here. So basically we just have to select the GPU. You want to go ahead and download the ROM. It should start showing at the top there, AMD download. We should get another message pretty soon about asking to download it. So let's give it a sec. And there we go, you guys can see at the top here, 5700 test rig. You simply just click on it and it should start downloading at the bottom here. And then you wanna make sure you save all of the stock BIOSes. So you make sure you have your own folder uh, make sure you back them up and all that kind of stuff because there's something called like the PID, the product ID associated to the GPU. So in case you need to RMA your card or something like that, you want to make sure you have the exact BIOS, BIOS, I keep saying BIOS, but yeah, anyways, you just want to make sure you keep the original BIOS just in case. Okay, next thing you want to do is download the red BIOS editor off Igor's lab. Link down below if you guys want to download it. Installing, next, 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 accept, next, and there we go. Okay, so once Red BIOS Editor is installed, you just simply go ahead, open it up, and then you have to click on the load button here, go to your BIOS where you saved it, and in my case, it is in the number five here, double click on that. Okay, so now we just go to VRAM timings and simply we're gonna do on both of these things and simply we're gonna copy this RAM timing right here and we're gonna hit copy and we're gonna paste overwrite everything on each of the other RAM timings below 1500 or 1550. I think these Chinese made 5700s are XTs. But anyways, go ahead, copy them in here. I'm just gonna do that right now. I'll just show you guys on video here and I just wanna make sure I'm doing this right. I'm doing this with one hand and holding my camera. Okay, so there you go. The round timings are moved up and now we wanna hit save. I'm just gonna call this 1551. Okay, now just to make sure you wanna load it Okay, go back to VRAM timings and yeah, we can verify that the RAM timings seem to be the same here. Okay, now you want to do the second part. Go here and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the first RAM timing there for the memory types. This is generally for the different memory types that your 5700 or XT will have generally, so we just do both of them anyway. So same idea, copy the RAM timing, copy, 
and that we're going to replace on every single one. Okay, all right, then we're gonna hit save. We're gonna go, I'm gonna type in 150 number two. Okay, and that 1502 is the one we're gonna upload back onto Hive OS. Okay, now we just simply have to exit, and now we go back to Hive OS, and we can see over here, it's still mining away. We're gonna go ahead to go to overclocking, then we're gonna go to flash the V BIOS, then we're gonna go ahead, go to the file that I just made in my fifth folder here. Uh, we're gonna go 1550 number two, and then you guys can see it, it loaded up right there. We have to click on the GPU index drop down and click on the GPU that we initially downloaded the vBIOS for. So that was for number zero here. We're gonna do that. We're gonna click force flashing, ignore security checking, and hit go, hit upload. And it's going to start uploading right now. So let's give it a sec. Okay, it says ROM flashing okay, now reboot, and we simply have to go ahead and reboot the rig, and it should be good, and we'll see what kind of hash rate we're gonna get. Okay, so looks like it's good. You guys can see GPU zero, which we just did the BIOS mod on. It is now showing 56.4 mega hash, and before it was showing like 53 or 52, just like the second GPU two that we can see there. So that looks pretty good. I just need to go ahead and do that second GPU now and get that up to 56 mega hash by BIOS modding. So give me one sec. Okay, and we're good. 56 mega hash on each of the Asus Evo duels. Now, the power consumption, you guys may be probably wondering, like Red Panda, why are some showing like 84, 83? Some of them are like 124. I'm not even sure myself. I think it's like a sensor problem or something, but these are definitely not what the power consumption is at the wall. I think these two here, if you add on another 40 watts, that is the true power consumption at the wall. And like I showed you guys in the previous video, videos like the whole rig was taking about a thousand watts now I'm sure we can fine-tune this but I'm just doing like a moderate like medium conservative undervolt overclock right now I just want to make sure that this rig that I have is stable so I'm gonna come back to this in like another 10 hours so see you guys in 10 hours all right so Guys, I'm actually recording this about two days and eight hours later. And yeah, this rig has had an uptime now for two days and eight hours. It's been working perfectly. This rig is nice and stable and efficient as well. I decided I'm not gonna run it at like, you know, 58 mega hash or 60 mega hash. It, I think it's just too unstable for me. I think it's just because of these cards. Silicon lottery, and I've tried a bunch of different overclocks and I, I'm just not able to get it to, to where I like above 56 mega hash, so I'm gonna stay around 55 to 56 mega hash on this rig because I just want it to be stable and I don't want to touch it anymore. So you guys can see my overclocks right here and yeah it's been running great now. An uptime of two days and eight hours as of making this video. It's been really great. You guys probably saw just before I was getting about 56 mega hash but I dropped down the core down to 1400 instead of 1450 because I did get a few you know incorrect shares and all that kind of stuff but now if I show you guys on either Ethermine right now I'm running onto Ethermine and you guys can see my shares the valid shares have been almost pretty much a hundred percent so about 298 shares is average every hour so each of the GPUs roughly are averaging I would say about 50 shares per 5700 which I think is pretty good and I would love to know your guys's results down below if you guys are getting around you know 50 shares per hour on your 5700s specifically if you're mining on Ethermine I know different pools may show different hash rates and different shares but uh, I'd love to know uh, what you guys are getting as well so it looks like I'm pretty good on this rig it's nice and stable that's all I'm really looking for and I think that's it this Asus 5700 Evo dual rig is done you guys can see the temperatures right now I'm actually recording this at nighttime so in my crypto mining basement it's actually really cool down there so that's why these cards are showing like on the memory temperature below or on 90 Celsius right now so pretty good but once it gets to a hot day I'm sure this card these few cards will go up to 100 so stay tuned for that video when I change the thermal pads and we'll see if there's any difference on that one card okay I'm probably gonna do this one right here and uh, we'll see 
So guys, thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. And I, I would love to know what your guys' results for, you know, mining on 5700s or 5700 XTs down below. Please let me know your overclocks and uh, hopefully this will help other people as well uh, when they read the comments. And I know you guys like reading the comments, as do I. So thanks for watching, my friends. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys want me to do. I do have a few other videos talking about things that we've learned on 5700s and some other stuff that I found out throughout the mining space, people talking to me and talking to other people as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a good one and peace out.